As the protests over the killing of George Floyd rage on here in Sacramento for the first time, we are seeing video from the 2017 shooting death of Michael McIntyre. The 32-year-old was unarmed and reportedly suffering a mental health crisis when he died. Sacramento County Sheriff's deputies shot McIntyre after he threw rocks at deputies. CBS 13's Valina Jones has details from the newly released video. Valina? Sacramento County Sheriff's Department released hours of that video footage this week from three years ago. Now, that investigation was deemed justified, but the family attorney tells me that's not how he sees this video. He was essentially running away, uh, and they chased him down, they sicked the dog, and they shot him multiple times. New video released this week shows the final moments of Michael McIntyre's life. <laughs> Video shows the 32 year old running under an overpass along Highway 50 in Rancho Cordova. <laughs> Seconds later, deputies fired 28 shots, seven hitting him. An overreach, according to family attorney John Burris. It looks like it's just revenge that this guy done this and hit this officer with a rock, that we're going to get him, he's going to pay. Reports show before the shooting, McIntyre threw rocks at deputies, injuring one, requiring stitches. Deputies were originally called after McIntyre and his mother got into an altercation. His mom telling us in 2017 that he was having a mental health crisis. Yes, I did holler for help. I said, somebody help me. This is my son. <laughs> Video shows multiple deputies responding, pinning McIntyre to the ground. The shooting was deemed justified by the Sacramento DA's office. Sheriff Jones has consistently said his officers did nothing wrong. Rick Brazil, former Sacramento police chief and the county's inspector general at the time, disputed those claims back in 2018, describing the use of force as excessive and unnecessary. That video should have been shown a long time ago, and people in the public can make up their own minds. You might remember the county previously settled a wrongful death suit for $1.7 million without acknowledging wrongdoing. The videos were released under a new state law passed last year requiring law enforcement to release use of force records. Now, this is all happening as the sheriff's office says they are not going to comment on that newly released video.